I'm Anna. And I am currently in the final year of my PhD. So I'm doing a PhD um, within the Burn and Joint Group at HDH and looking at the targeted delivery of drugs for bone fracture repair using microbubbles. So that is my current research focus. When I got into the biomedical sciences, I really enjoyed the, the, the way that basically the lessons and the lectures were all based on research evidence. From there, I also had a module in tissue engineering, which I loved. And that kind of sort of bridged my, um, what I loved about surgery and sort of tissues and actually, you know, the more structural aspects of things with the research, because that was what it's all about, the tissue engineering and the regeneration aspect of it. And so I then did a master's in tissue engineering. And then in my master's, uh, funny enough, my research project was in bone repair using extracellular vesicles and using them as natural delivery vehicles. So then from there, I went into artificial delivery vehicles in a way, which are the microbubbles, into bone fracture repair. So it was a very natural progression, but definitely not one that I knew from a youngster, this is what I want to do. It was one I discovered through each step of what I actually enjoyed. What we are trying to do is give a medicine, really, that will fix that bone, will help the bone grow itself again and bridge the gap. But the problem with those kind of medicines is you can't take them like you would take Panadol or Paracetamol, because when you take a medicine, you swallow it, it goes inside your blood, and then it goes everywhere, which isn't a problem with common medications, but it is a problem if you're taking a medication that makes your bone grow, because then you would technically have bone growing in places that you shouldn't. So that's why we're putting our medication inside a bubble, and this bubble stays inside the bloodstream as if a train on a train track. It's got a set path until it arrives where we want it to get to. And once it gets there, we can put ultrasound from the outside of the body at the fracture site. So it's basically like saying you've got a camera on the outside of your body and when those bubbles cross the area where your camera is, you can see them. So because we can see them, that's very convenient because as soon as you can see them and you stimulate them, what happens is they'll, they'll pop. So if they pop, they'll release the medicine that's inside them. And that's the theory of how we're hoping to get the medication to the area that we want in order to release that medication that will help bone regrow and bridge the gap and fix it. And I always describe it to, to students as a bit of detective work, whereas the difference with the um, sort of like a detective work is you go and you're, you're trying to find the evidence to to say that this person has done something bad. Whereas in our case, we've, we've got a question and we don't really know the answer. So we have to engineer that evidence. So we put together the experiments to provide us with that evidence. And then we evaluate that and see has that answered a question or not. So it's, um, I quite like that, that approach, sitting down and planning it and thinking, is this answering my question? But I think I'm very fortunate because we're working um, in collaboration with a group in Oxford. So we have our group which consists of myself another PhD student who started the same um, year as myself and a postdoc and we've also got our Oxford team which is which also consists of another postdoc and we've got a newer PhD student who's also doing another angle of the project um, as well so it's basically a project that is being approached by multiple angles by several people and that really gives a very different feel to the project because you, we meet every three months and we will convey sort of our findings and then we make a plan of how to move on so you can kind of see the progression and you can you can see where it's going which is great everything has a good outcome it's quite a positive <laughs> way of looking at things because i think if you don't then you just feel like oh nothing's worked you know nothing's going to go anywhere whereas the approach is okay that didn't work but well, that's a result so let's move on or what can we do with this so i think having a positive approach to it a a more sort of um well we're coming here to bring information and find things out if it's not what we wanted we've still found something out approach to things so a more relaxed yet obviously very very hard working and open-minded trying to be two steps ahead and foresee where that could go or how that could help i think um that's something i found a lot of um particularly the, the researchers and the PIs and the, the scientists in, in our group have definitely all got in common.